Hi there ICPs, I promised I'd record a quick video on what I've been doing recently with Amazon Fulfillment. So for those of you that don't know, Amazon Fulfillment is a great way of um, sending your packages to various warehouses that Amazon have around the world and then dispatching those to uh, your, your customers. You can also sell uh, via Amazon directly and they will fulfill from those, uh, uh, from those packages. So I have a, an Amazon Fulfillment account and uh, what I've been doing recently is wowing my customers using a simple script that we wrote to connect Amazon Fulfillment services with Infusionsoft. I have a simple campaign here called Wow Your Customers and if we uh, head into that campaign you'll instantly see exactly what uh, is going on here. It's a very simple campaign that connects uh, two different goals. One goal, which is um, if they purchase our WooCommerce product, our WooCommerce connector for uh, Infusionsoft, so it uh, imports orders and so forth from WooCommerce into Infusionsoft. And uh, anyone that buys that plugin gets pushed in through into this campaign. And then also, um, if anyone spent over $500 in the last 12 months, they get pushed into this campaign as well. Uh, what this uh, sequence here is uh, is doing is simply so I've got a decision diamond here and uh, if I ever want to add more goals I'd need to reconfigure a decision diamond if I was going straight into those sequences. So this easy feeder is just an empty uh, empty campaign that allows me to easily add more goals without having to reconfigure my uh, decision diamond. Um, and then we've got these three uh, campaigns, uh, three sequences here. The first is um, uh, fulfilled if uh, the country is United Kingdom and the person doesn't already have uh, the sent Ninja Tricks one uh, as a gift tag. The second is if they're not in the US and um, don't have the sent Ninja Tricks one gift tag. And the last is if they do have the sent Ninja Tricks one gift tag. In this sequence, simply a HTTP post uh, gets run. That HTTP post then uh, creates an order for um, that particular product going through the script, sending the various different details uh, to our script that the um, system uh, needs. So product name, uh, price, all that uh, information, and of course the shipping address. Our system then pushes that into Amazon, and once Amazon confirms that they've accepted the order, it then adds a tag to say yes that uh, gift has been sent and pushes them into the process by Amazon uh, sequence. If there's a problem then they stay um, in here. So for example at the moment we're having problems shipping to Canada addresses so Canadian uh, people are, are getting stuck in here and then uh, some of the US addresses here um, had incorrect zip codes or, or something like that so they got stuck in here which means I can then sort them out. And then what this sequence does at the bottom is it basically adds a task for me to then think of a better gift because obviously we don't want to keep sending out the same gift over and over again. So this is a fail safe to stop them getting um, the, the same gift over again. And go, oh, another one. Great. I'll put it on the shelf with the rest. So that's our simple little um, sequence. And if I uh, log us in here to Amazon Seller Central, and then in here, what we can do is, uh, first of all, just check the inventory. You can see um, that we've got the, uh, the product there and, and all the setup of the product and how many are available across all their warehouses and, and so forth. And then if we go to uh, manage orders, then you can see there's no pending orders within seven days. And the reason for that is because they all get um, shipped automatically. So if we go to all orders in the last seven days, we can then see, uh, ah, maybe shipped orders in the last seven days. And here we are, we can see, um, you may recognize uh, your name there if you're lucky enough to have uh, um, been in our sequence, but uh, um, all those people have um, been sent automatically without me needing to, to do anything. Now there are two features with the Amazon uh, script, you can either send it to Amazon and then hold the order for you to authorize it. 
That way you can kind of keep an eye on who's being sent, especially if it's a high ticket item, you may want to just confirm that yes, that can be dispatched now, or you can send it to just auto ship and they'll ship it straight away. So that's um, our Amazon connector with Amazon services. Um, it's uh, a really cool script that I'm thoroughly enjoying using.